So it's been just over one week since Fortnite restricted certain devices from being used that intended to provide a competitive advantage, meaning the likes of the Cronus Zen and Cronus Max devices were banned, and for a good reason because these were widely known as cheating, with their ability to give advantageous features like advanced aim assist and many many more. Basically now, if you're caught using any of these restricted devices, you will receive this warning pop-up in-game, and if you attempt to bypass this warning pop-up, you will get a permanent ban. However, what many people were wondering, including myself, is if these restricted devices are just limited to the Cronus Zen and Cronus Max devices. Well, after looking into it some more, according to Fortnite, they're not just limited to those two devices. So I thought today I'd put your minds at rest and go through all of the devices that are allowed, which many of you may be worried about, such as the keyboard joystick or your controller back buttons, which you may consider a restricted device, which could lead to an in-game warning like this on screen. So if this video does help out and it has put your mind to rest, please drop a like on it and subscribe for more. But yeah, getting straight into it, all of the devices slash peripherals that I'm about to mention are allowed to my knowledge. These literally either give you an extra input or allow you to remap an input, which are officially allowed by Epic Games, as you can see in their terms of service right here. What they do not do is give you an intended advantage like the Cronus devices do. Those are not allowed and will get you banned. I believe as well the strike packs will also get you banned because even though these do look pretty harmless and it looks similar to let's say the ps4 back buttons i believe these give you some extra controller like configurations that do give you an advantage same with the Cronus Zen back button attachment as well even though this again looks pretty harmless it just looks like a standard like back button pack that you can reprogram no it turns out that this does require a Cronus Zen device to even use the product as you can see on their website under the note bit right here those were the devices that are not allowed to my knowledge now let's move over to the devices that are allowed to my knowledge. So first up we've got the Elite Controllers, the Scuff Controllers and basically all controllers with back paddles. These are allowed. Same with the PS4 back buttons. These are allowed as well and I think they are a great cheap alternative to Scuffs. Along with that we've got the Gaming Mod Joystick. These are allowed and if you don't know about this device it's basically a device that adds a joystick to your keyboard. Many pros use them like Martos. The Azeron keypad is also good to go. This is a 3D printed thumbstick keypad which looks crazy. It's like a Fours claw and I think it has like 26 programmable buttons. The wooden keyboards, these still have the green light. These feature Leica switches that provide analog key presses that basically give you native double movement. And then finally, we've got things like the Xbox accessibility controller that is allowed. This is a custom Xbox controller that helps those with limited mobility. And on top of that, a device I haven't really seen a lot of but is allowed is the 3D router. This is from PlayStation and it's basically a foot powered controller and that is allowed. Basically guys, to conclude this video, the only restricted hardware devices out there are devices that provide or are intended to provide a competitive advantage, such as a Cronus Zen or a Cronus Zen Max. If Fortnite find that you are using one of these devices, you will actually not get an instant perma ban, but instead you will get a warning message like this on screen, basically telling you to turn it off and stop your wrongdoing. But if you do continue or attempt to bypass this um, pop up message, you will get a permanent ban, or I think like a seven day ban. Um, I think someone got one recently which i'll put on screen right now so you definitely don't want to do that and you definitely want to follow fortnite's rules but yeah guys i hope this video helped out if it did feel free to drop a like on it catch us in the next one peace